Good morning guys, it's day two in Edinburgh. We have started a little bit early today. Um, actually got up though, not as early as yesterday because that was ridiculous. Plan is to head to the old town in Edinburgh, then go to the witchery for lunch, and then we've got tickets to see Edinburgh Castle after. These are our outfits. I've got motel jeans and this is like cool ASOS jumper with a pink statement bag. Lucy's in some her new trainers. Cool jeans. New cool jeans. Cool <laughs> And then her, yeah, her cool <laughs> knots jumper. So yeah, that's the plan. We basically tried to make these outfits as formal as we could because we basically forgot yeah. that we were going to a nice place and only packed jeans. So we tried, but yeah, anyway, let's go. Okay, so Lucy and I are trying Scottish whiskey for the first time and Lucy and I are not maybe the biggest whiskey fans but um, I thought in a cocktail it might be quite nice so let's see what we think. Lucy, do you want to take a taste of yours? What does it smell like? <laughs> we got warned that it might be strong. Go on then. Oh, I do quite like that. Yeah. yeah? It's probably strong, but it's quite nice. Okay. It's like smoky. Yeah, this is really nice. So we're currently at Devil's Advocate, and this is the... I don't know. But it's it's, it's one of their classic cocktails, and uh, the house cocktails even. And then I got the Rise and Shine, so I'm going to try this one now. Yeah, you can smell it. You know what? That's actually quite nice. <laughs> Within the cocktail... I actually quite like that. I think on its own I would be like, oh. but within the cocktail it's lovely. So yeah, yeah. I, maybe not my favourite cocktail just because I love obviously a Fonsa Martini, but I would definitely rate this quite highly. So maybe, maybe like a 7 out of 10. Hey 
Hey guys, it's now the morning. I completely forgot to vlog the end of last night, so I just thought I'd tell you what we got up to. Um, so as you saw, we had uh, lunch at the Witchery, which was amazing. It was a little bit more expensive than um, most of the places that we've been eating out at, but it was so worth it. The food was absolutely incredible. The service was amazing. The whole place was just beautiful and stunning. So highly recommend if you've got the budget for it. We then went on to Edinburgh Castle, and again, you prepaid, um, you have prepaid tickets for it. And that was really, really great. It's lovely to go around like the main historical sort of point uh, in Edinburgh. The castle itself was huge and there was so much to do and so much to like, you know, walk around. So that was really good fun and uh, also had some incredible views from the top. After that, we then went down and did almost like a little bit of a bar crawl, um, just sort of going around some cool bars that we'd seen on the way. So we'd really recommend Devil's Advocate. If you like whiskey, they had some really, really nice whiskey cocktails, which I thought were really nice. And I'm not the biggest fan of whiskey, but they really made that really nice. Then we tried to get into this place called, I want to call it like Cold House or something. I'll, I'll put the name down here when I work out what it is actually called. Um, but it's, it has like a really cool terrace at the top which has like ski telecabines um, as tables and I just really thought that was a really cool inventive bar idea. Uh, unfortunately we couldn't get in because you needed a booking and we didn't have a booking which was annoying but oh well. And then finally we went to Victoria Street and we went to Mariachi uh, for some drinks at first and then luckily um, they had a table for it upstairs so we went and ate there too and it was absolutely divine. And that concluded our second day in Edinburgh.